us out. Take all our change to say, but it's true. Yes, I'll open with the nickel. I will see that all pranked always you straight away. We got some jets. Maybe it can be from a baby. Yes, I'll see ya. Who taught you to play? I think the thing that always has interested me is the invisible person, the person who society has deemed not worthy of being the protagonist, not worthy of holding the center. You know, Caroline, it is a very, uh, it, it had a tough go. And when you see it now, it's why I'm leaving for London tonight, and it's opening in the West End in a couple weeks. And, you know, in its, in its time in 2004, and people were, were thinking, Confederate statue, what are you talking about? It plays very differently now. When the daughter of a maid in 1963, as it turns out, topples a Confederate statue, and it just lands with something different. And that was when Obama, you know, before that it was so different. And uh, so I, th I think that the, that idea and the musical I'm writing now, which is about someone who you just don't usually hear from, especially at the center of a musical. I'm not interested in, uh, I mean, musicals, no matter what, musical comedies are really hard to write. They're very hard to get well, because there's so many variables. And when anyone sort of poo-poos them, I think, try it. Try writing one. They're really hard. Um, but the, the idea that someone holds center stage for me, who you didn't even um, think about at the center of, of life or have paid attention to, is, is very, has always interested me. Changing's a danger for a woman like me, trapped with the devil and the muddy brown sea. I've got to get back to the way that I've been. Gone. abstraction in music and then there's the concrete in, in language and then there's the other when you put them together and then there's the other when you're you, when you keep the metaphor constantly forward guiding everything so then there gets to a point where the show itself tells you what it should have that's the real fun part the not so fun part of a show is starting because you I don't know what it is you know the this we're all beginners out I don't know what it is and and why it, and then we just eventually it becomes its own thing it's like oh you know what it needs there it needs this and then you give it that and think oh that was the right thing and that's when it gets really enjoyable before it's complete drudgery for me someone just came in the door like no one i ever saw before i feel And that that was such a great, you know, I, I, the the singer songwriters of that era are still. I listen to them all the time, 
And I, I love, I learned from all the people who mentored me, and I didn't have a, many, but the thing that the through line for me was to value, uh, value music, that there was not an idea of this music is better than that music, and you get into all of that. There was just like people who play and people who make music, and, and what a gift that is. And to just be curious about it, like the, um, uh, the, the idea of who is the great musician, was it Metropolis who said um, the, the sportive element of music, the, the I, that whole idea of you're going back and forth with thinking artists who are questioning something, that's the real fun of it, not what they make. I mean, it, we, may, we might make this giant thing that just lands with a thud, but what are we, what are you, what are we after? So I really, I, I, I love that element. And you know, and you also, the idea that you have to pay the bills is, n no one ever discusses that. How do you, and often people have said when you chase the music, that's when you don't, when you chase the money, you don't really end up having something that pays the bills. When you chase the art, that's when you really find something that has legs. And, and I've not, I haven't found that to be true, but it, it was, uh, I think that's always the, the question of um, how you really make a career out, out of and, and make a living. You know, that adage of you, you, you either, um, you can't make a living, but you can make a killing, especially in theater. I've seen that happen a, a lot, but to really be steady, to really be a steady, serious artist who can make serious fun or, you know, to always be, be after something. That to me has been the great joy. In my